Linda Johnson, do you wish to renounce your faith? I do believe. What must I do to be born again? Admit you're a sinner. That Christ shed his blood and died for your sins. That he was resurrected and is truly the living Son of God. Verily, verily, I say to you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. It's a really hokey movie. It's made here in Central Iowa. Okay, all units, we've got her safe in our arms. Where's the rapture, America? Why do you think I'm living in this van? Why do you think uh, I can't get my own place? Guess what they want in order for me to get it. Come on this evening, technology on the cutting edge. We were interested today to hear that more than 100 law enforcement officials in Mexico are having microchips implanted in their arms. The chips allow a person to be scanned, sort of like a cereal box at the supermarket checkup. In Mexico, this will be one more tool in the fight against crime. Here's ABC's John McKenzie. You've seen it before, right out of Hollywood. Just a little A microchip inside the body. A hidden, high-tech identification tag. Maybe the access codes to your job spot. Now, Mexico's Attorney General and 160 of his deputies have had microchips implanted in their arms to control access to the country's new criminal investigation center. It is to provide access, said the Attorney General, to the right people in exclusive areas where there is valuable, sensitive information. The microchip, the size of a grain of rice, is injected under the skin and gives off a low-frequency radio wave. A scanner reads each chip's identification number to verify an official's security clearance. The microchip is tamper-proof, it's secure, no one can take your microchip and use it to their advantage to gain access to your facility. The chip, developed by Applied Digital Solutions, is similar to those used in the U.S. to identify and return runaway dogs. Children, newborn babies, several uses. prisoners in the penitentiary, the chips can also be homeless to people. Carry medical information. The one in this patient details his blood type, allergies, and the fact he has Alzheimer's disease. The device is now awaiting approval from the Food and Drug Administration. Some researchers are developing microchips for use in the home so that wearing one can turn on lights and open doors, hands-free. The next step, say researchers, is developing an implantable chip with a global positioning system to track people miles GPS. away, whether kidnapped or lost, just as cars can now be traced. Or the government the wants you. Jack for the body. Dissident. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York. That is our report on World News Tonight. I'm Peter Jennings. We hope you have a good evening. Good night. And he calls us all, both small and great, to receive a mark in their right hand that they could not buy or sell. Forget the rapture, America. It's a myth fairy tale. Compromise guarantees more than $2 trillion in deficit reduction. It's an important first step to ensuring that as a nation we live within our means. Yet it also allows us to keep making key investments in things like education and research that lead to new jobs and assures that we're not cutting too abruptly while the economy is still fragile. This is, however, just the first step. This compromise requires that both parties work together on a larger plan to cut the deficit, which 